thanking you. Morning. Morning. Good morning. We're going to do something a little different today and we're going to take you along for a day in the life, van life edition. So every day for us looks a little bit different, but it always starts the same with coffee and tea for me and Brooke. And I usually spend this time to read a bit of my book. But then after that, we've got a few different things. We've got some chores to do and we've also got some adventures. We're going looking for platypus later on. So we're going to take you along for the whole day. Alrighty, time for brekkie before we hit the road. Normally I have overnight oats with berries, although I usually forget to make them the night before, so they get like a 10 minute soak. I use quick oats because I always forget. Now while Julius is making coffee, having brekkie and doing all those things, I'm generally either figuring out where we're going for the day or editing a reel or posting a reel or doing all that kind of stuff so it's about time that i get dressed first chore is filling up our tanks get this little guy and we use wiki camps for all our water and dump points muddy out there. Oh, that was not ideal. I was feeling the stress too, because it's like two caravans. It's also very sloppy. <sighs> we still have to dump. Now that the water's been done, we're just going to move out of the way so that others can access it and go around to the dump point. Never a fun job, let me tell you that. Luckily, we uh, only have to do the pee jug because we have a composting toilet so it is separate it's not like a chemical toilet where it's just everything all in but yeah still not fun what you got there how was that <laughs> it's just like the most awkward thing because like you're walking past people like hey girl and you're just carrying what once was in you It's corn. It's corn. Look at those. There's just two. There's meant to be three. There's three of these. We've just arrived at Yungaburra to have a look at Peterson Creek. And this is what we're going to have for lunch, some udon. Now we to learn how to make it with udon. Nearly ready. Hold your horses. I thought you said it was ready. Yeah, you know how like parents like dinner's ready. Yeah, no, it's no, not. It's not, it just gets everyone. Oh. Gets everyone there. Here you go. Wow. Should we taste her up? It looks great. I don't know what I'm doing. Thank you on the edge there. Park on a hill, <laughs> then problems. <laughs> Well, we came down here in the hopes to see a platypus and we did came up and down a few times and then kind of just disappeared so yeah when we walked down to the pool i was like i feel like this is a good platypus pond and brooke's like nah i don't think so it's too fast flowing turns and out it was we were there for like a minute two minutes 
We spotted him. Yeah, someone said that there was another one up where you first walk in, but we didn't see anything there. Maybe we'll see another one. Maybe. Successful mission though. As we were walking back, someone said that they'd spotted one right as you kind of come in. And so we went back there and had a look and we saw some more. There was a guy like chatting really loudly like, oh, there's one. And then the, um, I don't know if it was his dad or whoever it was, was like, Darren, shush, you gotta scare it. And then Darren's just like, yeah, there it is. Just there walking. he is again, there and is again. again. But then he got really close to the rivers or the water's edge and it was just chilling there. And he was only like, what, how many meters away do you think? Oh, a meter maybe. A meter away so Julius went down trekking and got some footage and um, I got some stuff on my phone too which was really cool because he came over my side and um, it's kind of just digging at the bank so very cool now we're gonna head to curtain fig tree just a giant fig tree hmm with a curtain with a curtain Over there. Ash and fruit. Cute little farm stall. Picked up some bananas for two dollars a bag, and mandarins three dollars a bag. What a bargain! I don't want to go that way either. <laughs> Google Maps has given me all the unsealed routes, so. Okay, what are you doing? Well, as soon as your bike is finished, we're going to the NT, I think. You going to the NT? I don't know. <laughs> so, we haven't decided. So just trying to figure that out. Yeah, so we are still in a bit of a holding pattern while we wait for my bike to get its warranty claim done on the motor. But once we've got that back, we're sort of trying to make some plans so that we know what we're doing, where we're going. Well, Brooke is. Mm. You're not doing anything. But I might make you some dinner soon. Oh yeah, that'd be good. Yum yum. Brooke's still doing a little bit of planning there and I've now got dinner well underway. So this is our current dinner situation going on. We always called this a Mediterranean bowl, but when I was just thinking about it before, the only thing Mediterranean was that we used Greek yogurt to serve it with. But essentially it's like a pearl barley sort of nourish bowl, I guess. Pearl barley cooking there. We've got some chicken cooking down here with a bit of turmeric, chili, pepper, fish sauce. So down here we've got a bit of zucchini, bit of capsicum and onion all cooked down. And then over here we've got a little bit of a tomato, red onion salad, just with a bit of apple cider vinegar and salt and pepper. Yes, looks great, thank you. Well, how is it? Really good. Honestly, this is one of my favorite dishes and we haven't had it on the road yet, probably because we don't have an oven, but I think it actually worked out pretty well. Mm. And we're also watching Stefano and Nero. Hopefully I've pronounced that right. If you're into birds particularly, but also just wildlife, go and check his channel out. He's in North America somewhere and just absolutely amazing footage. Mm. We're gonna watch that. 
his latest video while we're having dinner tonight. The final tea is being made for the night and Julius is already in bed reading his Kindle. Seems like this is all I do. <laughs> this is exactly what you do, is just read your Kindle. But just wanted to say thank you for watching and following us through our day. As Julius mentioned at the start, every day is different, but I hope you enjoyed the activities we got up to today. See you in the next one. Well, we're stoked that we just saw a, part, a periplus. A platypus. A platypus. Oh, there's Nens coming. Now we're going to head to... Just arrived at Young Bird. Uh -huh. It's got a, it's, it's like a little, <laughs> little uh, Ikea. <laughs>